Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homesteads. So this is going to be a quick video and update on the Whiskey Barrel Queen hive number 13 here. So uh, we just got done uh, doing the inspection on number four and it's failed and we tore it all down. So it's uh, sun setting and I'm, I'm not too hot. I got this uh, Flexi Freeze vest on and it's keeping me cool. And uh, there's a link below to that if you want to check it out. And uh, it works pretty good actually. So uh, Whiskey Barrel Queen is in this top deep. <coughs> and then we combined her. So we're going to check out this combine and see how it went. It didn't go good for that high beetle. All right. I don't see a lot of bees up here, so they must have all went down. There's a few right in this area here. So you can see what I'm talking about here. We got a few bees right up here in the center and that's it. Uh, most of them are on down below. So they must have migrated on through their paper. I'll do a quick check of a few frames right there in the middle. And that's full of wax moth. And hive beetle larvae. Or they're little bitty wax moths. So this hive is weak and it's getting infested. So people say wax moths took out my hive. Well no, you let your hive get weak and they got in there and infested it. See those little maggots? So wax moths have dark heads and hive beetle larvae do not. That's how you tell them apart. And you see these trails? This is where the mama wax moth ate all that up and then she laid her eggs all in here. So, it is a good thing we popped the top on this thing here. So let's see how many more have damage. Another thing I noticed when I opened this, the smell. I could smell them. You'll learn to smell that wax moth. Here's more right here. There's a big one. See, I smashed it. They get in there and the bees can't get to them. You get a strong hive and they can control that. Here's another one. So one thing you can do with these is put them in a really strong hive and they'll take care of it or put them in the freezer. In fact, you might just put them in the freezer first, take care of it right away. So I'm gonna pull that out. That one was okay. Don't see none in here. There's a larva hatching out right here. I think it's a drone. Come out of there, boy. There he comes. Yep, it's a baby boy. Wax moths. Hate these things. So what happens when you don't inspect your hives for three weeks? Look at that sucker coming out of there. Oops, he fell down in there. That needs to come out. So we're gonna reduce this hive. Okay, let's leave that in there. We're gonna take this box off. Get my hive stand and get it over here. There, so you can see the paper where they've uh, ate through it, cleaned it up. I want to show you a wax moth cocoon. Right there. It's 
So a, a moth got in there. Not enough bees to fight them off. So the moth got in there, laid her eggs right in there, made a little cocoon. So this is what makes the web and eats through your uh, wax. And that one will not do it because we killed it. Oh, this thing is ate up with them. So that queen didn't take. See all the web down in there? This is full of wax moss. See the larva? So man, major bummer. I don't know what happened here. Well, it was weak. It was a weak hive. But uh, we just let it get too weak. And then the combine was too late. We might find that queen in here. If we do, we'll reduce this down to a newt. With the good frames remaining. Oh, I hate seeing this. Oh, that just ticks me off. I thought it was isolated to the top, but nope. So what happens when it gets this bad, that queen will abscond and leave. And you'll have a tiny swarm. This is a total loss and a mess. I didn't see her. She may be down there below on that uh, slatter rack. Yes. Man, she was holding out to the bitter end. There she is, poor gal. She has had a hard life. Let's uh, get her in a nuke and get some frames set up here in a little nuke and put her in there and these bees will all go in there and we'll get to give her just good frames and I'll have to feed them. Okay, so brought a nuke box over and I've got a double decker so I can put a jar feeder in the top and I'm gonna get frames that are good and have no wax moth on them at all this is full of all kinds of moths and larva I think that's high beetles down there Wow yeah, so here's what happens when a hive gets too weak. So watch this. Man, look at that. No way this hive would have survived. Let it get too weak. My bad. I thought uh, that whiskey queen was, well, she was laying. So it was too, too little too late for that hive. And I mentioned, I know on several, of the, on a, a couple of those Hive 13 inspections, like, hey, we got to do something quick. Which I did something, it wasn't quick. And this is what you get. So I will take care of this away from here. You don't want to just dump this out. All these larvae will go down into the soil and make more hive beetles. So I will get my torch that I light my smoker with, take care of that. So I'm gonna get the best looking frames that had no wax moth on them. 
and get them in here. And this queen pheromone will draw them into this nuke. So there's your culprit of the hive or the uh, wax moth. That moth gets in there and lays eggs. I think I may just leave these two frames unless I can find one more and then I'll come back later. All these have wax moth larva. Okay, here's what we've got for now. Shook all those bees off so they're kind of all up in the air. Got all the bad frames back over here. And that's the two bad boxes, so I'm going to have to take care of those. And uh, we've got two frames in here with no wax moth on them, larva, and the queen is in this clip. So temporarily, this is how we'll leave them, and uh, I will get into another box and get them another a couple frames and uh, I may trade out a couple of the best frames over here or blank ones and put in their place and uh, where I get the donors from and get that get that up to four frames and hopefully I can find some with a little bit of honey and pollen on there and that queen can get to laying so and they do need fed okay I went over to hive 18 and I got us a, a donor frame here that's got uh, eggs and larvae and emerging brood. Made sure our queen's not on here. So that'll give this hive a little boost of population. And these are all nurse bees. There's quite a few more capped on here. So this will uh, give that queen some help. And now they need some food. Okay, here's the frame right next to that one. So it's uh, some drone comb and got a little honey on this side and bee bread. So we'll put that on the outside, the other opposite side. And we're gonna put these bees in there with it. Okay, we reduced it down so they can uh, defend better against any moths trying to come in there. Okay, so I've got a new train of thought on this second deep. Uh, since I put uh, quite a bit of nectar and honey in there, I'm not gonna feed them. And uh, we'll, we'll get them through to the fall flow. We'll see how their population is built up uh, and I'll come down tomorrow and release that queen. Yeah. I'm gonna have to space this out to get that clip down so I can get the lid on. It's about to get dark on me. There we go. So now uh, we can get this lid on here. Okay, so yeah, that sucked. Hive 13's almost a bust. Now we got this tiny little hive uh, to contend with. Uh, it's gonna need a lot of help to get ready before winter. Good news is we found that queen. And uh, I was surprised, but I thought maybe she would be down there where I saw those other bees, and sure enough, she was. So we'll, we'll uh, release her tomorrow and uh, give them a, a day to acclimate to this new setup here. But uh, that is it. Uh, those of you that are gonna say, I told you so, you're right. <laughs> I should have reduced it down. I should have reduced it to a nuke right then. So live and learn. Hey, uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, even though it wasn't great, hope you learned something from it because I sure did. Uh, 
I knew better, but uh, I just uh, was impatient and thought uh, that'll get it done. And I was hot and I wanted to get out of there. So uh, that'll, that'll teach me a lesson. So uh, we will catch you on the next beekeeping video. Y'all take care. Okay, there we go. Come here. You're full of watermelon, aren't you? <laughs> well, come on. Look, Mikey likes it. He don't like anything. This is Michaelina.